What's up guys, welcome back to JSIC Poker where I go over all PLO hands. Lately a bunch of PLO hand reviews from live streams from some sick, sick cash games. Uh, if you guys like PLO and want to learn more and uh, want to learn how to get better, then definitely tune into every video because I'm going to be giving you guys tips and strategies on how to be a profitable PLO player. All right, so today I'm going to review some hands from the PLO High, ca high Six Cash Game Episode 3 Triton Poker in 2022. Let's get into it. All right, so first, just a little bit, you know, to kind of recap the situation here. Uh, Rui Cow straddle to 1,000. Oshkan open it up with Ace, King, Queen, 4 from the hijack to 4,000. Yeah, I like it. You have a strong King High suit. Everything else is connected. Uh, I don't mind. Santos comes in from the cutoff. Jack 10, 6, 4, double suited. I don't mind it as well. Um, you know, you're in position. You have uh, double suited plus everything's connected. Tom Duan decides to come in on the button with Ace, King, Queen, 3. A little bit loose, but in a high stakes cash game stream, I mean, you just got to play a little bit looser, right? So you, I, I like the call. Patrick Antonius. Um, a lot of people would might actually contemplate three betting here to be aggressive. That being said, I don't like it uh, just because of the six is gapped. If it was if the six was a seven, I would definitely three bet this hand because it would be double suited uh, plus two high suits and everything's connected. But unfortunately for Patrick, he does have to flat call here. Uh, Elton Sang decides to come in with the three bet with King, King, Queen, Six, single suited, gambling it up a little bit here. Um, it's a gamble because Oshkan can definitely have pocket aces. But that being said, Elton is here to play. There's a bunch of dead money in the pot. Um, if he's good, he can just three bet and just pile in a bunch of flops. So I don't mind it uh, playing a little bit looser in the live stream. Now let's see what happens. All right, now Oshkan is in a tough position. If you're Oshkan, you just have to fold this hand. Uh, Elton can easily have aces that dominate you. Plus, you're behind <laughs> three players, and you're gonna have uh, you're gonna be out of position pretty much three ways. It's a terrible spot. So I just like giving up my hand here and cutting my loss with, with Ace King Queen Four. I'll open it, but I won't call a big three bet squeeze like this. Let's see what he does. He does seem a little bit conservative, right? He just looks conservative. <laughs> I feel like he's just tanking and just trying to, you know, act like he's thinking about gambling, but I really think he, he already knows he's going to fold. Yep, and I do think he's going to fold here. Hurry up, though, Ashkan. Hurry up, man. Don't take so long. You know you know, Santosh is not going to fold this. Chen da Jack 10 6 4. I do like it. Now, if you're Tom Tuan, he goes all in for over $102,500. Um, a pure gamble. And <laughs> in my opinion, it's kind of a punt if you're Tom Dawn. Um, again. Elton saying squeeze uh, range is going to be really, really strong here. At least it should be. So, so I think Tom Don is going to be dominated a high percentage of the time. And he is dominated from a lot of hands here. Uh, but he's here to gamble. Don here to play, baby. Now, if you're Patrick Antonius, um, ace, jack, nine, six. Again, you cannot call $102,000 because someone's going to have aces and dominate you a high percentage of the time. Um, so that pretty much kills a lot of your outs. Plus the six is not good. Again, if it's a seven, I, I would probably be um, three bet squeezing there and then getting it in versus everyone. And I do expect him to fold here. Yeah. Now Elton Sang is in there and Santosh is in there. We got a over three hundred thousand dollar or two hundred thirty eight thousand dollar pot, and I believe. Um, they're going to be running it twice here. Let's see what happens. I love how Tom Duan plays PLO. He plays like the complete opposite of Hold'em. 
he's like in there to gamble like so often. Elton saying happy that he's somewhat ahead, I guess. <laughs> Even though Santosh is actually a, a slight favorite versus everyone because Elton and Tom is, is blocking each other's outs. But that being said, uh, Santosh's spades are blocked, but his hearts are alive. But a lot of his uh, Broadway outs are dead. Queen 9-2. All right, so Elton flops top pair. Santosh flops a straight draw. And Tom Dwan flops top pair and has a bunch of two pair outs. So everyone is pretty much super close uh, at this point. Elton is still a pretty good favorite, though. Oh, and there is a three. Tom Dwan makes two pair. Huge, huge turn for Dwan, but Elton has a flush draw, and Santosh still has an open-ended with a double gutter now. So Tom Dwan, barely a 2% favorite. It's a pretty crazy pot here. Santosh is wondering what he has to dodge here, and Santosh is thinking the same thing. What am I supposed to hit to win here? And Elton hits a backdoor flush the first board. And I guess he they win it they ran it once and and uh, Elton scoops the pot. Very nice Elton saying. His aggression pays off that hand. Let's get to the next one. All right, we got a straddle from Basel. A 2000 Ashkan double straddling, Santos triple straddling, Tom Duan in there potting with Ace Jack 10 2 triple suited here to play. <laughs> He's just here to get it in. Who cares? Elton Zhang, Jack 4 9 6 double suited. You know he's in there. Anything double suited, these guys are going to be in there with at this point. This is one insane game. I love how they're playing. Amit Kanodia. Only, let's see what he does. He only flats. I don't like it. You have ace, king, queen, nine, double suited. You're on, uh, you know, you're in the big blind, ready to squeeze. You know Tom Dwan is super loose. His range is super wide. There's so much dead money in the pot. This is a slam dunk pot and get it in on a bunch of flops. Um, I mean, you just got to take advantage of that hand, man. Come on, Amit. But he decides to play the lower variance route. You know Santosh is either going to four bet jam uh, or three bet jam pot. Uh, that's that's my that's my uh, guess because because he has ace eight queen jack double suited. That is a monster, especially versus Tom Dwan's range. And Santosh is aggressive, so I expect him to pot here. And he does pot. I love it. Three bets at eighty three thousand five hundred dollars. What is Tom Dwan going to do with this raggedy ace jack 10 2 triple suited? Um, what does he do here, Tom? I know he's trying to gamble. And he is calling, <laughs> leaving himself $17,000 behind. <laughs> that is hilarious. Elton Zhang's like, oh man, I, I, I got jack 496. Pretty bad hand, but it's, it's double suited. The issue is the four is gapped. If the five was a heart, that would be much better. But I doubt he's gonna fold here. Just getting the just getting the odds, he would look like a complete nit on uh, television as well. <laughs> you know, if he, he's worried if he calls, he's gonna have to call an all in from a meet. That's what he's afraid of. But I don't think a meet is gonna over jam after playing like this. Yeah, he just calls. All right, so we are <laughs> four-way to a flop. Pot is $337,500. This game is absolute insanity. <laughs> it's an over 600 big blind pot before the flop. Who's going to win here? Elton Zhang actually has 32% equity versus everyone because they're all blocking each other's outs. What a sick, sick game. Flop is king eight four offsuit. Amit snap jams with top pair. 
with the back door flush draw with two pair outs. He's in there for 68,000. I mean, for only 68,000, Santosh in this crazy game, he decides to go all in. <laughs> Not even worried about top set. He's there to play. He's there to gamble. Elton Zhang now is in a spot. 161000 to win $387,000 with just bottom pair. He could be drawing very, very thin here. Potentially just to run a runner, a backdoor flush draw. His backdoor flush draws might not even be good. His two pair outs might not even be good. His four might not even be good. But is he here to play or punt? If you only knew he was getting already, he was actually getting thirty percent equity. <laughs> he would obviously call this because he'd be getting hundred. He'd be putting one hundred sixty to win about five hundred forty. He's contemplating. If a meet wins this, he's going on a long vacation around the world on a little yacht. It's just going to be a $500,000 pot if Elton Zang is in there. He decides to give it up. And now a meet is in a very, very good spot. He's got 66% equity. Turn is a 7. Doesn't improve anyone. River is a 5. Doesn't improve anyone. One pair is going to win that hand. Turn is an eight. Now Santos hits three of a kind. Oh, River is a king, and a meet gets there on both boards. He scoops a $387,000 pot with ace, king, queen, nine, double suited. That was actually the, the prettiest hand of the, the four in there, so he kind of deserved to win that. <laughs> All right, that is pretty funny. Uh, on to the next hand here. Now, of course, we got a... A double straddle trip. Oh, now we got Bissell in there gambling it up with King 7 10 3. Guys, that is not a good hand. You should never be raising that from the cutoff. Just way too loose. The six is gapped, the three is gapped. Not a lot of good things that can happen for you on uh, future flops and boards. But Santos wakes up with Ace Ace 3 7 3 single suited. This is definitely a pot bet here you want to build the pot especially in a loose game you have a nut suit plus aces and you know santos is going for it yes three bets to twenty-one thousand. tom dwan queen queen five deuce triple suited that is an absolute monster for him you know he's gonna gamble but guys if you're here to play good poker you gotta fold queen queen five two your suits can be dominated your queen could be dead you can be up against aces with a with spades. You can be in really, really bad trouble. But he is here to play. Tom Dwan is not here to fold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he does fold! My bad, Tom Dwan. <laughs> he actually must have uh, knew Elton Zeng had king, queen, five, four, killing all of his outs. But great fold by Tom Dwan. Huge discipline there. Now, Bissell, uh, obviously, versus a 3-bet in position, if you're going to open this up, you cannot fold, especially on live stream. What is the point? And he does make the call. You actually have pretty decent equity versus aces majority of the time. You're going to be have only, um, you know, most of the time you're going to be about a 40, 40 to 60% dog or 35 to 65. So in position, I do like the call here. Now we go to a flop. So pot is about 45,000. Basel has 86,000. There's a lot of flops that Santos is just going to be bombing on and just getting it in with the stack to pot ratio. He's going to be able to do that with aces and profitably play it like that. I expect that to happen on this one. 10-7-2 rainbow. It's actually one of the best boards you can have with this hand. Ace, ace, seven, three. You block a seven from two pair. You have an... Uh, over pair you have backdoor hearts plus you know other outs like a three you definitely got to bomb this one and i expect him to do so and he is going in there and basel having top pair with the backdoor flush draw with the whole bunch of two pair outs uh, i expect him to be in there he is in there 
And I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised because he's only a 41% dog. I would expect him to be closer to 50-50, but I'd have to look up the equity here. But he's got a ton of outs. He can hit a 10, a 6, a 3, a king, a backdoor flush. They're basically close to flipping at this point. Ooh, turn is a 10. Basel gets there. Oh, River is an ace, and Santos re gets there to uh, hit trips. That is awful for Basel because now his 10 and his king. Um, his outs are for those are gone. Oh, they only ran it once, and yeah. Unlucky, unlucky River card for Basel. But Santos scoops another massive pot here. Let's get to the last hand of the night, guys. All right, so we got a double straddle. Tom Dwan is limping with ace 10 5 4, playing his good old premiums. Rui Cow is in there with king 5 4 6. Very, very conservative limp in from Rui. Just so seeing how he's been playing. I'm surprised he didn't pot it up there, but he must know this game is absolutely insane. Uh, already insane, so he doesn't need to blow up the pot. I like the limp in. Now, Basel with Ace Jack 9 3 double suited, he is tilted. He is stuck a ton, and this live stream is about to end. You've got to just pot it here with Ace Jack 9 3 and gamble. Now, usually GTO suggests no, do not pot this because the three, you want to have at least a seven, right? But if you're gambling it up on a stream, why not? You're double suited. I like it, especially if everyone else is going to have some weak ranges. It, it doesn't hurt to gamble here and there. Tom Dwan is in there to gamble as well. And of course, Rui's not going anywhere with his King 5 6 4 double suited. I like the call. Let's go to a flop. All right, flop is eight, five, four, two diamonds. What a monster for Vassell. He flops a gut shot with the nut flush draw with possibly back to a straight draw. Off. You know, seven, ten gets there. Um, and obviously he is all in here. Rui Cal flops a monster with two pair with the gut shot with a gut shot straight flush draw. Uh, I, I expect him to be in there. Tom Dwan, let's see what he does. I expect him to be there because he's going to be the first one to act, and he has bottom pair, bottom two pair. He's going to have aces beat a lot of time, kings beat with flush draw. So I expect him to be in there as well. With the nut flush draw. Rough spot for Tom Dwan because you got Rui Cow behind you, but there's, you know, almost nothing you can do at this point. You got to gamble, and now Rui is left in a position where he has to call as well because even if someone does have a, a, a flush draw or not flush draw at least you have two pair and a gut shot to back it up if someone does have a straight like six seven uh you have outs as well if someone has a set you also have outs a gut shot and a flush draw so mandatory all in by Rui here i expect him to be all in as well we have a pretty massive pot here again and he is in there as well we are all in three ways two hundred twenty one thousand dollar pot tom duan is not looking good. He's drawn to a chop with Rui. Rui is redrawing, and Basel is actually 42% favored here because Tom Dwan and Rui share each other's outs. Um, uh, their four and their fives are now gone. Now uh, Rui has to hit a seven, pretty much, or at least hold somehow. And Basel's uh, diamonds and deuce is, is live here. Plus, he can hit a runner runner ace three. Runner, runner, two pair with an ace. Runner, two pair with a jack. He's looking really good here. I like his hand. And I believe we're going to run it once again, just like they've all been doing. These guys are a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> it's probably like 6 a.m. over there. They've been playing all night. Look at Tom Dwan. How many times do you think these guys have been on a bender doing this? 
Ooh, okay, turn is a nine. Basel adds even more outs, right? Um, oh, but Rui actually turns backdoor flush draw with the um, king high flush draw. This is sick. Now they're both about even, and Tom Dawn is basically dead at 6%. River is a seven, and Rui gets there with his gut shot. He scoops the pot. Very nice hand, Rui. But they're running it twice here. Ooh, Rui smashes again. He turns the straight with the backdoor flush draw. He is looking amazing. 68% odds to scoop this pot, and look at him. He is happy right now. Oh my God. I would be too. He's just got to block it. He's just got to dodge a diamond or a ten, or else Basel would hit a uh, a straight. And he does hit that river. He holds Rui up massive in this game. Probably at least a couple hundred thousand. Tom Dawn is done for the night after losing a few hundred thousand dollars. Um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Really just completely busts the table, and that is it for Triton Poker, you guys. Hey, if you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, and if you guys want to play PLO on Club GG app, hit me up on Instagram at Acoustic Shredder. There's some really good games going on there, you guys. Anywhere from low stakes to uh, mid stakes. If you guys are looking to have fun, just splash around or play with some fun players, hit me up and I'll get you in. All right, guys. Peace out, you guys. Have a good one.